I knew the process. I knew that these families that eventually we will uh, pick to to move with them and, and tell you all their journey, that they will have to be people who had lived in Jordan. They always do. They come first to Jordan or Lebanon, but the Lebanese don't come to America. They go some, somewhere else. So I knew they would have lived in Jordan a while, and they would have had uh, some kind of uh, a time where they can just thank the Lord for safety, uh, send their children to school. So I knew these will be our, perhaps, choice. And Alexandra immediately agreed and chose very well these four families. So when they, don't forget, it's their choice to go to America. They ask to leave. And uh, be, so they must know the risk. Uh, they are given, um, if you like, they're given uh, guidance from the American embassy and from Jordanian authorities and NGOs what to expect. But the overwhelming thing is the American dream. They all come thinking that the American dream is just waiting for them to arrive. They've gone through a lot of hardship. No one leaves one's home by, with their own choice. No one runs away with nothing on their back, not even a passport, if they, I mean, by choice. So these people have suffered a lot, but they had a period of settling in Jordan for three years. That's why by the time they come to America, by the time we picked them up here in America and they went and settled with the IRC, this is the International Rescue Committee for Refugees, they have to come through a board like that. They cannot just walk in. They have to come through one of the NGOs. And so they were already learning to be away from home and it's, they're nostalgic, but they have chosen to be away, far away from home you know, chasing the American dream. And that's why Alexandra was adamant, and I'm really in total agreement on that, that the film have to express hope. In spite of the suffering, in spite of their anxiety, hope is at the end of that tunnel. The biggest, of course, the biggest handicap is the language. It's terrible. When you arrive somewhere and you cannot say, I want a glass of water, that perhaps what was the biggest obstacle.